Like, the Soul King ain't going to save you. Like, you're not going to be the ones that are going to be saved and everyone else is going to die. Or you're going to die with everyone else on the Earth. <laughs> like, what's the logic with that? You will die if he comes back. Later in the void. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Savvy, and welcome back to The Savvy Show. And in today's episode, it looks like we have a top tier SCP on our hands. No cap, guys. This is SCP-2440, The Sealed King. So first, um, impressions, I'm assuming it's going to be, you know, somewhat similar to The Scarlet King, maybe. But in turn, he got sealed up because he's too powerful, who knows? Hence the name, Sealed King. So I'm not trying to infer might not go too deep on it because it might not be that important for this SCP. Who knows? However, like always, we'll find out today. So with that being said, if you guys are excited for this reaction, please remember to smash that like button if you do enjoy the reaction. And also smash the sub button and smash that bell so you can stay plugged for each and every upload. And feel free to support the journey on Patreon, link in description below. But without any further ado, let's get this show started. Alrighty, SCP-2440, The Sealed King. Let's go. It's been said that knowledge is power, and when it comes to SCP-2440, that might really be the case. Like many of the anomalies and entities that have been kept on file by the SCP Foundation, SCP-2440, the being known as the Sealed King, is a malicious creature of untold devastating power. The key word there is untold, and we mean it in the most literal sense. Because he's, he's you sealed? cannot know about SCP-2440. It must remain untold. Unless, of course, you have at least level 4 clearance. You do have the right level of clearance, don't you? No. We really would have to hate to break up the amnestics and wipe your memory at the end of this video. Oh, Assuming man. that you do have adequate clearance, then it is time to introduce you to SCP-2440, known to some as the Sealed King or Zeotlaad to its friends, if it what? had any friends, that is. If you are familiar with the likes of the infamous Hanged Can, yeah. and the even more infamous Scarlet King, oh, yep. then you will have heard the term <clears throat> Eldritch Being thrown around before. An Eldritch Abomination is an almost godlike entity, one which does not adhere to the natural laws of the universe as we understand them. Their disturbing otherworldliness is almost indescribable to any mortal person. It is a description that can be easily used to define SCP-2440, along with the words Keterclass Anomaly and Existentially Terrifying. Jesus. The Sealed King is an extra-dimensional entity, a being that inhabits a plane of existence far outside the physical reality of our own universe. Okay. While the creature's physical appearance has yet to be observed by any in this dimension, some have depicted it as resembling a gigantic being with a mass of squid-like tentacles, along with a glowing humanoid form in its center. What the heck? What makes SCP-2440 such a formidable threat, however, is not just the creature's immense size. <coughs> One of SCP-2440's core abilities is the power to influence and manipulate the minds of mortal beings. Oh, wow. But this isn't as simple as the Sealed King choosing one person from our universe and driving them like a remote-controlled car. Yeah, he was pretty SCP convoluted. SCP-2440's influence is spread mimetically. I figured. By manipulating data and information, SCP-2440 slips its memetic agents into texts, images, even spoken phrases, and other audio stimuli. Think of it like subliminal messaging or product placement. Imagine for a moment that you see a character on a TV show eating a certain brand of black and white sandwich cookie. Oreo. And that makes you decide that or you want to go bar. to the store and buy some delicious black and white sandwich cookies to enjoy for yourself. That idea was planted in your head by something you saw. And it had an influence on your subliminal behavior. messages. SCP-2440 operates on a very similar principle, but with one key difference. Once enough people become aware of it, SCP-2440 <laughs> will use those to subtly spread its influence, controlling the actions of those it manages to infect, and its hold becomes stronger the further they spread the knowledge of the sealed king. So whenever they manipulate a human being, is he talking about when that person that is manipulated tells another human being just about the sealed king? Is that when they get taken over too and he gets more stronger? Because how else is um, he's going to spread the knowledge? If it's that easy just talking about him, that is pretty, pretty dangerous. He is a top tier Keter class. I, I'm pretty sure Keter is an understatement for how powerful this sealed king is. But um, it's, pretty, it's pretty dope the way his powers are. It reminds me of um, Freddy Krueger. If you guys see Nightmare on Elm Street how um, he gets stronger the more people talk about him. 
it's pretty relatable, just more on a souped up level, I'm pretty sure, because this guy must be really powerful. To put it plainly, the more people that become aware of the Sealed King's existence, the more powerful this eldritch abomination becomes. Mm. The range and scope of SCP-2440's abilities varies depending on the quantity of people its influence has been mimetically spread to. According to research by the SCP Foundation, if 200 people or less have been infected, then these individuals will demonstrate an increased interest in media belonging to the horror, science fiction, or fantasy genres whether this be films, books, or images that fall into one of these categories. Hmm. Exposure to these desired materials is believed to increase the spread of the Sealed King's influence. Just watching that specific genre spreads the influence of the Sealed King? What? How, though? Is he? Uh, let's see. If the number of infected individuals climbs to between 201 and 500 people, then SCP-2440 has been known to take direct control of a single infected person. Just this one. control is somewhat limited, though, with the Sealed King only able to maintain a connection with the controlled host for half an hour. During this time, the infected person will attempt to infect further people by creating works that contain subtle details about the nature of SCP-2440. This is going on Reddit. <laughs> Historically, when infection levels have reached this phase, Foundation researchers have been able to communicate with SCP-2440 through conversations with its host. What? The creature displays a very hostile attitude towards humanity. I'm surprised he's talking to has been quite open with the fact that its sole purpose is to continue infecting individuals until it is able to manifest physically in our reality without How? the need for a host. How does that happen? that feels like it's right out of the evil eldritch entity playbook. When oh infection God. of the knowledge spreads up to 1,500 people, SCP-2440 becomes able to take full control of another infected individual without the previous limitations. By making them fully subservient, it will then use this person to speak simultaneously to any and all that have been infected with information regarding the sealed king. Do you have to be around Next, him? Or no? 10,000 people become infected, more of SCP-2440's abilities start to influence this dimension. The creature is known to be able to distort and reshape reality, though at this point SCP-2440 still needs to control the host. But even though its powers and abilities have increased, at this stage the creature shows no interest in actually using them, and its focus still remains on using its human host to spread its mimetic agents, furthering the Get infection. more powerful. Once the number of people infected by SCP-2440 through subliminal mimetic information surpasses 10,000, the Sealed King is able to manifest its true form outside of a human host for a maximum time frame of one hour. What? This is the point of no return, as SCP-2440's reality-bending powers are dramatically increased. It won't be sealed Methods anymore. that would have previously kept the creature at bay will cease to be effective, and it can take direct control of up to 1,000 of those it has infected. What are some of his powers when he's here? The SCP Foundation limits the number of people permitted to know about SCP-2440 to 100 cleared personnel. This is achieved through the use of amnestics. Given that SCP-2440 is a creature that grows stronger the more people know about oh my God. it, these drugs certainly seem like a viable way of keeping that number nice and low. <laughs> but once infection numbers reach 10,000, that's when amnestics are just no longer enough. Bro, and that's not even a lot in the grand scheme of things. 10,000 is not a lot. That's pretty low compared to how much that could spread. Like just making a YouTube video about this. Honestly, like, that's more than 10,000. Like this video already has over 76,000 views. Like <laughs> it's already over. But um, goddamn, <laughs> that's crazy. Based on the information about the sealed king that is available to them, SCP Foundation personnel have projected that if the number of people infected by SCP-2440 ever reached as high as 100,000 or more, the creature would likely be able to manifest outside a host for longer, possibly up to two hours. It is also believed that SCP-2440 would be capable of creating dimensional portals, either inviting anomalies from other universes into our own, or simply creating its own anomalous creatures. Whoa. By this point, to create any and anomalous all infected creatures? individuals would be fully under the sealed king's control. Finally, if a million people were to become infected, SCP-2440 would most likely achieve its ultimate goal. What is the it? The eldritch creature would be able to fully and permanently manifest itself in our dimension, in its true form most likely leading to an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Fortunately, through the dispensing of amnestics, 
the SCP Foundation have managed to prevent such a scenario from coming to pass. Additionally, containment teams are regularly sent to investigate any reported awareness of SCP-2440, and any infected individuals are either treated with memory-altering drugs, or simply terminated. Ugh. The entity has been known to spread Dang. its influence through text too, though, and even the documents within the SCP Foundation's archives aren't safe. What's his overall goal, though? That, like, that's what I want to know. Like, when he actually has over a million people knowing about him or under his control and he's permanently here in our dimension, what is the end goal? Just to destroy the world? Like, if it's that simple, it's kind of a dud. Um, I hope he has a more convoluted plan and why he would want to destroy this dimension so bad. But um, either way, hopefully we get a good um, explanation. The Foundation attempts to keep any links to the Sealed King within other SCP files hidden to avoid a spread of knowledge about this extra-dimensional Eldritch Abomination. However, while only a hundred members of authorized SCP personnel are aware of SCP-2440, the Foundation isn't the only organization aware of this being's existence. A group calling themselves the Children of God is comprised of individuals previously infected with the knowledge of SCP-2440's existence wow. and has supposedly been around even longer than the Foundation has. Oh my goodness. These people worship the Sealed King as a deity and seek to infect others with the same information that the creature uses to influence them. Bruh. Carrying out the whims of this extra-dimensional threat, the Children of God attempt to spread the word, as it were by any and all means available to them. The Foundation considers any member of the Children of God to be highly dangerous, and containment teams are advised to either capture them on site or use lethal force to terminate them. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done that already. Like, straight up. But, I mean... The Children of God were previously based in a compound somewhere in the United States, and during an assault on their base, the Foundation was able to recover documents that describe the possible origin of SCP-2440. According to these documents, at the very dawn of time, old gods emerge from the empty abyss of nothingness, Who's the one on the otherwise left? referred to as Mother Void. This entity granted life across the universe, all other realities, and every conceivable dimension. Yo, who's the SCP on the left? If you guys happen to know the answer to that, let me know in the comment section below, because I know that Cthulhu was in the middle, and then the Seal King was on the far right. But the one on the left didn't look familiar. However, the story detailed in the Children of God's legend claims that the old gods were fickle, twisted, and brutal things, with no purity in them. Dang. It seems to suggest that the old gods were similar entities to SCP-2440, capable that one? of bending and reshaping reality, and apparently did so purely for their own amusement within the newly created universe. <laughs> These old gods created creatures in their own image, toying with the fabric of reality like children with blocks, building and destroying at will. Wow. Before long, the old gods began to turn on each other focusing their natural jealousy on their siblings that have been born of the void. The firstborn of the void and chaos, a being called Methol, oh. coveted the creations of his fellow old gods, and flooded the newly created worlds with a rampaging army of vile, grotesque beasts he had made. Is that old god an SCP in its own right? If so, what's the number of that? That is, I, like, I have never heard of that one, I'm surprised. As Matol attempted to kill his Matol? various siblings, the other old gods retaliated and sent the universe into a period of darkness where the blood of young life flowed like water. However, none of the old gods could ever die, only be forgotten. But they had created so many creatures to serve them and fulfill their purposes that it seemed impossible <laughs> that this would the ever fake happen. Cthulhu? The Children of God's documents then describe Ziotla, or SCP-2440 as he is otherwise known. Apparently the firstborn of Mother Void, oh. and an entity called Father Light, SCP-2440 is also referred to by many reverent titles such as Lord of the Gods, Devourer of the Impure, wow. and Savior. The first Lord. one. Being both born of light and darkness of the Void, Ziotha was considered to be a true god. Ziotha. And according to the creature's followers, did not set about creating life, but perfecting it. The old gods turned on Ziokla, his half-siblings attacking him with the armies and monstrosities they, they had created. Wow, okay, so um, half-siblings, I'm assuming they were only born from like the light or dark side, because this dude's born from light and dark. I guess only the first son, or first one born from the void, gets to be the purity of, you know, the old gods. However, in itself, that's pretty dope. Like, he's higher than all the old gods by just, you know, being pure in his own right and um, being the first one. 
and people known him as the true god. I wonder the two other gods turned on him because they were jealous. Hmm. However, some of these Let's creatures rewind this a little bit, though. followers did not set about creating life, but perfecting it. The old gods turned on Ziokla, his half-siblings attacking him with the armies and monstrosities they had created. However, some of these creatures turned on their masters in service of SCP-2440 instead. Yep. After generations of warfare between SCP-2440 and the old gods, Ziokla finally vanquished Matol in single combat that lasted 10,000 years and laid waste to countless worlds, almost tearing the universe apart. Vanquished him? I thought they can't die. I thought they could only be forgotten. Wow, so that's a feat in its own. If it's if he's actually dead, it took 10,000 years. I'm assuming with that, you know, logic, he's vanquished. He's dead, not forgotten, bro. That's wild. Now what happened to Cthulhu? Eventually prevailing, Ziokla cast his siblings down into oblivion. But as he did so, both of them, Matol cursed him, banishing SCP-2440 from the universe, implied in these documents to have been our very own reality. Wow. The children of God venerate the creature as their lord and savior, with more of their documents claiming that this king of all, king mankind, of all mankind is wrongfully sealed away. They believe their sealed king is returning, destined to reappear in this dimension and lay waste to all reality. What? Why would they worship that, though? If they know the answer and they want that to happen, you know you're going to die, right? Like, the Silk King ain't going to save you. Like, you're not going to be the ones that are going to be saved and everyone else is going to die. Or you're going to die with everyone else on the Earth. <laughs> like, what's the logic with that? You will die if he comes back. But um, if the story, which was just told, is true, um, I don't think the Silk King is in the wrong, to be honest. He's probably just butthurt that his brothers turned against him, and he's just salty that he had to kill, you know, his family. But, um, who knows? Whether this is truly the origin of SCP-2440, or just what the entity wishes its infected disciples to believe is unclear. Whatever the case, we suggest you quickly forget everything you know about SCP-2440 oh, for your own safety. How? I don't have now one of those. SCP-001 The Scarlet King. I already checked out both of them, but yo! That was a phenomenal one. I'm surprised that it got me as interested as it did. I didn't know they were going in depth about, you know, the old gods. That was something that I always wanted to dive deep about. Like the old gods compared to, you know, the Scarlet King or like the Hanging Man or if they are old gods or their new gods. Like the categories with like what they are. So um, it was cool to find out at least the three of them. Um, the Sil King, Cthulhu, and Matalo, whatever his name is. But they're both vanquished by the Silk King, so I'm assuming so far from my knowledge that he is the top echelon of the old gods. I'm assuming the old gods are going to be stronger than any new gods. Like, for example, the deer, I'll assume that he's like a, a, a regular god or a new god compared to, you know, the Scarlet King or the Hangman or, you know, the Silk King, which is an old god. Um, but yeah, interesting, interesting indeed. Okay, now this is making me think that is there only one true god and all the other gods are half of what a true god would be for example the silk king is a true like a full blood because it's born from light and dark and like the other two sons were only born from one side i'm assuming that's the process so if that was the case is the scarlet king and for example the deer only born from one side of the spectrum or are they both born from both sides this was great it's making me think a lot <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed this scp reaction if you guys did please smash that like button also smash the sub button and hit that bell so you can stay plugged for each and every upload so with that being said unfortunately that concludes today's episode however i'll catch you guys on the next one